my fellow peeps, and welcome back to Ask Mason Velez Season 4. So, in case you haven't noticed, today is December 8th, and which means this is the first day of Hanukkah. So, to any one of you peeps whom are Jewish, I'd like to wish y'all a happy first day of Hanukkah, and I hope that uh, y'all have a great eight days of, of that very special day in the Jewish community. So, without further ado to ask shit, let's get on with the fucking questions. <laughs> okay, starting off with... Emilio M. Patino8275, he said. Yeah, that user just said nice. Well, well, thanks, man, uh, or or whoever you are. That man, that means a lot. Okay, now starting off with six questions out of Lorik Forever 2K8. And number one, what's your opinion on Renaissance, a film by Beyonce? Yeah, that 2023 concert film. Uh, no opinion, because I don't find pop music interesting at all. Okay, number two. What's your favorite voice artist, actress, actor, cast? For me, I prefer Terry Douglas better since she is just an ADR voice cast in collaboration with Disney. Uh, man, it's so many to count. Too many to count. But I could give you five actors and actresses. Uh, just for right now. So, yeah, my first... Um, yeah, my favorite uh, artists... Or rather, actresses or actor or cast members. Well, yeah, I'll, okay. So, uh, my favorite actors... Yeah, five of them that I'll tell you is... Uh, Keanu Reeves, Jack Black... Adam Sandler... Jackie Chan... Uh, yeah, and also... Two-Way Tie, The Wayne's Bros... Okay, number three. In the response about you hate Hunger Games franchise, well, since you hate this franchise, so I can handle your opinion on, on it, as well as the prequel, The Ballad of Songbirds and sh Snakes as well, as being here, what, since I was not watching it, so uh, I can handle your opinion on Hunger Games franchise, since you hate it. Uh, okay, well, okay, well, okay, so I see that it's a response. The third one is a response. Okay, Lorik. Number four, what if Pencil Neck was in Central World? Uh, for me, expecting that Pencil Neck will get rejected on his ass for ruining the fandom community as well as the characters for something they didn't do. Uh, I think, well, yeah, Pencil Neck will get, get his ass fucked up. Number five, in conclusion about what if Pencil Neck was on Thanksgiving 2023 horror film. In the plot guide world of Fort Worth, Texas, the main antagonist of the film, Sheriff Eric Newland, is now separated to be the individual character as John Carver, uh, who was wearing a suit, wearing a costume, you know, by someone and voicing it in the mouth of the mask as well. As for research that John Carver is the horror antagonist to become Pencil Neck's worst nightmare. Holy shit. I could see that Pencil Neck is afraid of, has a fear of Thanksgiving now. <laughs> Number six, what's your opinion on please don't destroy the movie, The, the Treasure of Foggy Island? I have not seen it. Uh, matter of fact, I haven't seen any of the movies uh, for, for this year. Not even Cocaine Bear. Damn, I gotta get me a movie of that. Okay, and, and some... Okay, so he gave me another question. Well, oh, another two questions in a separate comment. And said this. In some fact, I have two questions that I have bonus and trail for. Number seven, in fact that Pencil Neck gets in the what if Pencil Neck was in movie used question and expected that Pencil Neck gets stuck in the multiverse as well as the movie theater Magic Portal was now stuck as well. Okay, so I see that's more like a, re um, uh, more like a response or a reply or whatever what that is. Okay, number eight. What movies do you see or watch on 2023? Okay, so I'm just going to say uh, say five things for right now. Uh, yeah, five answers out of Lorik music, since it's too much to count. Yeah, 27. Uh, so I'm going to say five for now. So Okay, so he gave Megan a 96 out of 100, Missing 100 out of 100, Ant-Man and the Wasp 2, 
Quatu Mania, 91 out of 100. Shazam 2, Fury of the Gods, 97 out of 100. His only son, 99 out of 100. Okay. Uh, you know what? I don't mind going out, uh, going out five more. Okay, the Super Mario Bros. movie, 98 out of 100. Sisu, also 100 out of 100. Guardians of the Galaxy 3, 97 out of 100. Hypnotic, 92%. And Fast X, 99%. Uh, excuse me. Okay. David the Shark Jackal asked me this. Thoughts on Johnny Test nowadays? It's overrated as fuck. Robo Mogu said this. I am always ready for Christmas. Oh, well, that's good to hear, Robo Mogu. Because uh, I'm also excited for Christmas. <coughs> yeah, can't wait to spend holidays uh, with the fucking family. Okay, Wally Warner said this. I want Mega Man 11 for Christmas because it's the best game I've ever had in my life. I like Mega Man because it's one of my favorite Capcom characters. Well, that's very hard touching of you, Wally. Alright, George's Genius Education asked, said this. I love Rapper Offline, Mason. Oh, that's good to hear, George. Okay, let's see what's on next. Um... Okay, Cyberpod Mark II, uh, yeah, three questions out of him. So he asked, What's your opinion on your archive channel? Uh, I started to give a fuck less about, um, about my archive channel, and I just moved on uh, to make uh, episodes a little better, uh, better than the ones I made back in 2019 and 2020. All right, number two. What do you think the naughty and nice list websites... Uh, I think I'm starting to lose interest towards it because it just doesn't matter. Because it just doesn't matter whether you're naughty or nice, peeps. Yeah, uh, you're still uh, you're still being nice uh, for everyone, especially your family, no matter what. Yeah, just as long as you don't fuck up everything too much, or being rude to anyone, uh, or take your anger out on everyone else but yourself. Yeah, because. Uh, yeah, even though that you were uh, that you were kids and had anger problems, but you uh, but every one of you peeps gotta gotta calm down. Just pull out your fucking ears, but do not put, but not too hard, just to get it stress, and you just go woo sa woo sa. Okay, number three. Are you thinking that the PlayStation 2 didn't have online games? Are you thinking that PlayStation 2 didn't have online games? Um, that's... I think that question uh, is a little bit out of line. Because the PlayStation 2 online um, territory uh, just happened one year after the launch uh, after the launch day. Uh, starting off with... Okay, so according to the franchises of the official U.S. PlayStation Magazine and Jam Pack uh, Winter 2001 on PlayStation 2 and Google especially, the earliest PlayStation 2 game to allow online play was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, published by Activision and released uh, in 2001. Well, that's too bad that didn't happen on the fucking Xbox, not until 2002 with uh, Unreal Tournament. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, even the, the Nintendo GameCube had an online feature, but it, but there was not much games in it on the GameCube. Damn. Okay, Artata the Dragon Flarian uh, has four questions for me to answer, so that's good. Okay, um, are you, okay, number one, are you planning get, to get a PlayStation 4 soon? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm trying to... I'm doing what I can to save money for... Uh, for a goddamn car, because I'm fixing to quit my job as a parking lot attendant uh, sometime in 2024, right before summer starts, uh, because uh, I am going to work on DoorDash. Okay, number two. If Pencilneck tried to create a DeviantArt account, what would happen? For me, I think its content will be abysmal again a banned. Uh, you know what, yeah, um, 
Pensilnik will have his ass banned uh, for making uh, for making undisputed. Uh, oh my God! I I, just, I don't know what to say. I just need time to think. Okay, now I got time to think. Okay, so for me, yeah, Pencil Next content on DeviantArt will be so abysmal because, uh, yeah, his account is going to be filled with absolutely nothing but diaper and foot fetishes. Yeah, especially the ones that's just too sick, uh, too sick to fucking think about. And I hope Pencil Next does get banned as well. That son of a bitch. Okay, RT. Okay, number three. What if Cinderance kicked Pencil Neck in the nuts? I would just burst out laughing, too. <laughs> That's what he gets for uh, sending grounded threats to other people when they don't do shit. Number four. Do you watch AEW Wrestling? For me, I have the time. Um, I've heard it's even real wrestling. Wait a minute. Is AEW real wrestling? Is it just as real as ECW? Yeah, well, if so, I gotta go take a look. Okay. The Valerie uh, Saragaki Audrey gave me four questions just like Artata and... Okay. Yeah, okay. Number one, what are your thoughts... Numbers one and two, what are your thoughts on Utama no Prince Sama and Monster High? I have never heard uh, heard of that show on number one and number two. I don't find it interesting. I don't mean I don't say that to be sexist, but I just got no interest. Okay, number two, number three. Do you? Okay, numbers three and four. Do you like retro classic anime and moomins? Mu uh, number three. The only retro classic anime that I like is Dragon Ball Z, and uh, number four. I have never heard of Moomins. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pull the plug for the for right now. So if you got any questions uh, for next week, go. Um, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, if you got any questions uh, for next week, uh, by the meaning of next week, I meant uh, on Wednesday, December thirteenth. Um, yeah, go ahead and do so. Well, because I say that, um, say December 13th on a Wednesday instead of next Friday, is because starting from uh, Thursday, December 14th, and ending on Christmas Day, we're going to have 12 days of plotting on Christmas, yeah, featuring the videos uh, that I just created, and some of them requested by some people. Okay, now let's, now let's pull the plug for real. So once again, if you got any questions, go ahead and apply. And until next time, this is Mason Velez signing off. Thanks for watching.